Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So if you've been keeping up with me in this series, I've gone over the goals that we have for making a movie poster, along with a video on poster design theory. Now that we're done analyzing, we're just going to get to it. The video will go over setting up a new poster image. Remember that movie posters are 27 inches wide by 40 inches long. Try not to deviate from this unless you have a specific reason. So, we're going to go into File at the top of Photoshop and press New. The command for that is Command or Control on a PC and N. We're going to call it Freezer Burn because that is the name of the movie that I'm making a poster for. This is actually for a client. As you can see, it's already got it set up for me. 27 inches by 40 inches and the resolution is 150 pixels per inch. Now if you want to go lower than that at 72 you can do that but if you want to have the ability to print on a full 27 by 40 poster and you want it to look good keep it at 150 pixels per inch. Don't go any higher than that unless you're working at a professional place which obviously you wouldn't be listening to these videos if you were. For now keep the color mode at RGB color you can change it to CMYK color, that's better for printing, but RGB is generally better, uh, especially if you're not working professionally, because you're going to probably put this image on the internet more so than you're going to print it. Keep it at 8-bit, and you want the background contents to be transparent to start. That way if there's any open space, you'll be able to see it. Now you notice already that our image side is going to be 69.5 megabytes. That's pretty big and it's only going to get bigger as we add more elements to the image. So while you're doing this, as you create more movie posters, you might as well save this as a preset. So we just simply press save preset and you can call it whatever you want. I'll call it movie poster standard. And you can choose between all these different options. Um, normally you want to keep them checked, but if for whatever reason you don't, go for it, press OK. And that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. Notice how big this is. I'm looking at it right now, it's at 16.7%. That means this is going to be a big poster, and the image elements you want to use want to be high resolution. So that's pretty much all there is to it for creating this. The next thing we're going to do is add our first background and we're going to make some subtle changes to it to fit the mood of the poster. Thanks for watching guys. You can send any requests or questions about this series or Photoshop to requests at mahalo.com and please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.